Hello and welcome to the Fixed Land. And welcome to Neo Scavenger. A survival game that I've kind of been interested in trying for a while. I, I don't, um, I don't really play many survival games. Um, and I may not play this one after trying it. Um, I, I, I think I'm found that I'm more interested in the idea uh, of a survival game than the actual play because it ends up feeling more like work than play to me but I'm I keep uh, I keep trying them <laughs> so I'm gonna try this one and I think it came out in 2014 looks like this version was updated in 2017 so um, it was just on sale on GOG and it's still on sale as of the date of this recording. Today is August, uh, August 9th, 2024. I think it's on sale for a few more days if you're interested. So um, I have looked at the options. I had a bit of a screen flicker um, that I think I got mostly rid of adjusting the re refresh rate on my monitor. In any case, let's go to options and take a quick look. Not many options, mainly just with the display. So, and the, the sounds, so we'll just leave everything as is. And it's been a while since I've recorded a video, so it's good to be back. Let's just jump into a new game and see what it's all about. And I haven't gotten any further than this. <laughs> so uh, if you're new to this, you are learning along with me. All right. So it looks like we've got statuses over here on the left. Sated hunger, thirst, rest, burden, comfort level, outdoor temperature. Hurt or unhurt? We are unhurt. With no money. Looks like we've got turns. Abilities you can choose from. And flaws you can choose from. So it looks like the flaws allow more abilities, but beware they come with disadvantages. different cursors. Take, drop, use, destroy, split. Oh, I see. Take, drop is one. Use is two. Let's try this. Two. Uh, maybe this shift, split, two. Do I hold it down? One, two, three, shift. Okay, maybe it'll become more apparent. Oh, oh, I see. The current cursor mode. All right, well, I'll figure it out as we go along. What's this? This is trash. All right, I don't quite... We'll figure that out as we go along. So maybe we've got 15... Um... Let's see, let's just give this a try here. So we've got strong. Carry more without being encumbered. Melee attacks, more damaging, can create obstacle in combat. Medic. Improved healing rate. Via procedure training and sterilization techniques. More detailed stat bars and condition screen. More detail, that would be good to have more detail. More information is good. Hiding, ability to hide is more effective. Camp concealment stat visible on camp screen. Melee, better chance to hit in melee. Higher wound sensitivity, a uh, severity. Higher wound severity. Hmm. Better defense in combat can leg, leg trip in combat. Eagle eye can see one hex further than normal. Line and light of sight, light and line of sight permitting and can detect hidden things more easily. 
I like finding hidden things. That's always good. Tracking. Can spot older tracks than normal. Can hide tracks more effectively. These are all good, of course. <laughs> uh, less fatigue. Per move. Athletic. Run away faster in battle. Run further on map before run moves deplete. Metabolism. Food and water intake rates reduced. Healing rates slightly reduced. That's good though, right? It's It doesn't sound good. Healing rates slightly reduced doesn't sound good. Oh, maybe you... you need less food and water, but your healing is... I'm not sure. Skill at manipulating, manipulating computers. Tough. Higher pain threshold. Immune system effectiveness and resistance to wounds can headbutt in combat. That's good. Trapping. Trap and prepare animals. Botany. Knowledge of herbs, fungi, and other useful plants. Lock picking, knowledge in bypassing locks and other security devices. I always like that. Electrician, knowledge of electronic systems and components. Mechanic, knowledge of mechanical systems and components. And range, skill with ranged weaponry. And we've got our flaws. Fragile, physical wounds, pain, and inflictions are more severe to you. Healing is slower. Metabolism, food and water rates, intake rates increased I guess we yeah we drink and eat we need more I understand that to mean healing rates slightly increased feeble melee attacks melee attack effectiveness is lessened can carry less myopia c1 hex less than normal detecting hidden creatures is harder insomniac difficulty staying asleep Sleep is less beneficial and enervated, out of shape, and fatigues faster than usual. <laughs> well, if we want to create a character that's true to life for me, I might go with enervated. No, I'm not really that out of shape. Uh, so we can add flaws, but and they'll give us allow us to have more abilities, it sounds like, but uh, we have to take the flaws. Uh, we can do random. So let's just give this a try here. I think I like ranged. So that used four points. Um, let's see. I like being able to hide. I like lock picking. I'm saying what I these are what I enjoy doing in games. I'm not saying that this is the best thing for this game because I have no idea what the best thing is. Um, I think I like medic. Um. Why don't we go with Eagle Eye? And that's all we get. Uh, and we could take a flaw. Looks like we can't take Myopia. Probably because we have Eagle Eye. Yeah. Um, so what if we took that? No. You know what? I'm not sure the flaws are worth it. So let's go with that. And just see how it goes. Ranged. Hiding. Lockpicking, medic, and eagle eye. You know, we're probably going to die in <laughs> the first two minutes. Well, who knows? Confirm. Okay. You wake up disoriented, slumped over the base of an empty cryosleep pod, still damp from cryofluid. The thick dust from the floor clings to your skin. 
leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large 05 is painted. Oh, I hear birds. Across the room there is an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway. Something is coming. Fast. Options for this encounter, hiding or medic. Okay, so we can find some place to hide, or we can emergency dump another stasis tank. You're getting colder. We're unburdened. What's this? Open, close, and counter screen. Let's try that. E? Nothing happens. Maybe that. Maybe there's nothing to see yet. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Move base moves slash turn five. So what happens if I click on hiding? Can I do both? I guess I can only do one. I mean, only one shows up here. Let's just try this. Hiding. Confirm. Oh my goodness, what is this? You quickly scan the room for a hiding place and duck behind the cryo tank nearest the window. <clears throat> Hopefully the light from outdoors will make it harder to see you in the nearby shadow. And with most of the rooms smelling of cryoprotectants, you stand a pretty good chance of having your scent masked. You hold your breath as something enters the room. Its heavy breathing becomes more nasal as, be as it begins sniffing the air. The sniffing grows closer, but continues further into the room. It lets out an annoyed bark, huffs, and starts sniffing back into the hall. A few minutes later, you're pretty sure it's out of earshot again. What is it? Confirm. We can click that or hit the spacebar. Okay. And we're back in the cryostasis room. So we can... Okay, so it's giving us options here. I see. Dog man gone. <laughs> A dog man. This is how the game starts? Wow. Let's search the console for records. You check the console for any patient info and come across three records. Tank 1, Anton Blubber. Committed 12 12 11 11. Emergency contact, Angela Blubber. Detroit, Michigan. Same billing info. Tank 5, Philip, Kin Philip Kindred. Committed 2019. No data. Billing info. Tank 6, Lloyd Blank Check. Committed 2008. Emergency contact, Meyer and Meyer. Meyer and Meyer LLP. South Broadway Street, Detroit, Michigan. So we're in Michigan. How about that? Confirm. Okay. I assume this will give us the same information. Yep. Okay. So I guess our options are to climb out the window. Cool. You decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto the sill and outside, rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp, probably morning. The distant report of a gun catches your attention. You cock your head, listening, but it's over as quickly as it started. Obviously, you're not alone out here, but that doesn't necessarily comfort you. You're in the parking lot for Gaige's cryo facility, but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Your, frusta your frustration mounts but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. Let's do that. Okay. 
While traveling in the world of Neo Scavenger, you will notice some hexes, some hexes with boxes or magnifying glasses on them. Boxes mean that the hex has items to pick up. A gold outline means there are new items since you've last been there. Magnifying glasses mean that the hex can be scavenged for items. Okay. Most of the really useful stuff must be found by scavenging. Scavenging. However, scavenging takes time and energy, and you risk danger every time you do. So, magnifying glass means it can be scavenged. Box means there are items. Click to see items in it. Okay. So, I guess we can... This is what we can see. Abandoned houses and trailers over here. One movement. Zoomed out minimap. There's nothing yet. I got skills and ability screen. Crafting screen. We've got a hospital gown, a bronze talisman on a braided leather string. Hospital wrist strap labeled Philip Kindred. I guess that's us. And we know how to make quite a few things, apparently. Wow, well, okay. So we know how to makes meat sterilize water do stuff with rags we know how to clean rags we know how to make a splint we know how to make a broken bottle <laughs> uh, make and extinguish a campfire Foil scraps, forest resources, thread, rags, natural resources, tools. I guess the recipes of this, we know how to make these things apparently. Campfire, torch. Rifle, we know how to make a rifle. Wow. Bow, spear, shiv, shotgun, sling. Okay. Back to the main map. So, is there stuff we can scavenge? Let's click that. Items on the ground here a shard. Uh, shard. Two shards. Shards of glass, I guess. What do I do with it? Uh, can I put it in the backpack? Okay, I guess it's in my hand. Okay, let's see what's over here. <laughs> Open and close item screen. Run, hide, hide tracks, spy, scavenge. Open and close items. Clear conditions. Base, uh, camp screen. Vehicle. So I have a. Does this mean I have a backpack? Hmm. 
Uh, so I'm holding a piece of shard of glass in my hand. I guess that's what I'm doing here. So we have... We're holding a piece of glass in each hand, apparently. Okay. And that's all there is. So let's go back here. Alright, let's move on to the abandoned houses and trailers. Okay. Wearing a hospital gown and a shard of glass in each hand. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Buildings stand in ruin. Vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate outwards from walls and pavement. In the distance, strange-looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous leathery, m monstrous leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen Earth, returning mankind to the Dark Ages. And along with it, your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers. You decide to look around and scavenge what you can from the ruins. Got it. Scavenge. Stones. Coca-Cola bottle? Handful of string. So I don't know... Like how to take, take, take. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we'll figure this out. There's this big empty screen here that I'm trying to put things in. I can put it in my hand, but then I have to drop the glass, I guess. You're getting colder. Um, I can't... Uh, clicking on this doesn't do anything. Alright, let's take the string. Uh, I'll take the Coca-Cola bottle because... I suppose we could carry some water in it. And... What's this? Oh. This is... I don't know, but I can put something there. Maybe maybe this is just where I... If I have a backpack, that's where I would put things, right? Yeah, it, it disappears, so... I see. Okay. Um... Okay, there's empty space there. Can I not put the rocks there? Because this might be useful for fighting, but so would the glass. Alright, I'm going to take the glass. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the stones because we have better skill at ranged. Alright, rocks, string, and an empty Coca-Cola bottle. Oh, I'm sorry. Corn a cola. Corn a cola, because it's all corn sugar. Okay. Um, and then I can use the tab key to get back here. That's all that's on the ground. So let's. All right. This is pretty cool. Let's move along. See what else we can see. Hills are what was on here. Flat grassland. Tracks player. Hide tracks. Were those red? I guess those red things were our tracks. I guess. A feral dog. I suppose we should avoid the feral dog. Let's go here. Not enough moves left this turn. Oh, okay. End turn. Here comes the dog. <laughs> Options for this encounter. 
desperate <laughs> retreat. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I won't read everything out loud. It would be a little too much. You can always pause and read if you want. We've got a desperate retreat. Standard retreat. Fall back. Run! Okay. Take cover. Threaten. Dodge. Advance. Charge. Ranged attack. We could try that. Low chance of making you vulnerable. Chance of being detected if hidden. Wait. We could wait and do nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see. We don't have any cover, so we are visible. Um, the dog is frail. All right. Let's try waiting and see what happens, see if he attacks. He retreated. Okay. Good. Good. So we'll just leave him where he is. Let's go back here. Oh. There's more to explore. More abandoned houses and trailers. Okay. Let's scavenge. What's the encounter? Let's see. Uh, combat. Why is it combat? I don't know. For some reason, these are the options. Blind retreat. Choose a random direction and run. <laughs> a random direction and run. Take cover. Search. We can search for hidden targets. I, d I don't know what the target is. So let's try that because we appear to be in combat but I don't know why. So let's search. Confirm. Uh, player searches for unknown target. End turn. Let's wait. Okay. Feral dog. Weight versus feral dog. Um, let's see. Let's try taking cover. Feral dog is exposed to easy attack for a moment. Let's try threatening. Feral dog desperately tries to retreat from player, but can't get away. Why not? We're gonna wait. Feral dog retreats, okay. Maybe he'll stay away this time. Or was that the same one? I don't know. Let's try scavenging again. There we go. Assorted small parts. Dirty rags. Oh, it's a crude air filter. Okay. It's 
So we are using we we are using a dirty rag as a crude air filter. I guess we'll just keep that on. Assorted small parts. Um. Why don't we leave the string and take the assorted small parts for now? I guess we can always come back. Okay. Uh, back to the map. Let's hide our tracks. See what else we can see here. Not enough moves left this turn. So then we'll end our turn. Now what? <laughs> the dog again? Feral dog leader? Oh, it's a pack of dogs? Oh gosh, okay. Oh gosh. You're getting colder. Um... Best cover is medium. Let's try threatening again. Feral dog retreats, we can't get away, so we'll again wait. Player is shivering. Okay. Great. Uh, let's go here. Oh, we got some stuff. Hide tracks. Go here. Can we go here? Not enough moves left. End turn. I don't think we're not going to sleep when we're shivering. We're going to end our turn. Are the dogs following me? <laughs> Piles of... Okay. Flat grassland. So let's go ahead and go here and then see what we got. Water. Can we add that to the bottle? Uh, I don't know if we did. We're not thirsty at all, so I don't want to waste the water. Is there water just because it's raining? Scrap paper. Can we add that to our... <clears throat> whatever this container is, maybe a, a pocket. Because there's no point in eating if we don't need to eat. But what I don't know is... Hmm. Okay, it's now morning. Like I said, we're figuring this out as we go. So we really need, if we're shivering, we need to uh, get warm somehow. <laughs> All right, let's just leave that stuff there. We can come back for it unless we die. <laughs> Our current campsite in the old spot on the ground. Um, Alright, well, we're, we are well rested, so... We don't need to rest. Let's go... Up this way. Actually, let's head over here. As you pick your way through overgrown ruins, a, p a peculiar sound becomes briefly audible. It disappears, but picks up again in a moment, as if carried by air currents. It's a distant humming, like small gas engines, out of place in the stillness of empty forests and abandoned buildings. Huh. Spy. Let's try this, see what happens. Spy. Can I spy on the current hex? I spied on the on the planes. 
Let's hide our tracks. Okay. Let's see what's in this container here. And turn. Oh, no. The dogs. Player has moderate hypothermia. Okay. Threaten. I, I think... Um, I don't know. I don't want to bring on two feral dogs if they're both frail. Uh, <clears throat> what I mean is... Um, I'm in no position really to fight two feral dogs. Uh, let's take cover. Feral dog leader advances toward player. Feral dog advances toward player. Let's try threatening again. Feral dog, they're both exposed to an easy attack for the moment. So I guess we attack. Or maybe we should desperately retreat. <laughs> um, so how do I attack? Dodge. Charge? I have stones. So how do I... Oh dear. How do I attack them? I'm going to try threatening again. Oh no. The feral dog leader advances. The feral dog charges. So we need to... <clears throat> I guess we charge. Well, we're going to give it a try. Feral dog char... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, we are exposed to easy attack. The feral dog charges at us. <clears throat> Whoops, I just spilled coffee all over myself. I'm that excited. Whew. Let's see. So I don't quite get how to... What I want to do is throw my stone... charge. Feral dog leader advances. Player charges at feral dog leader. Feral dog charges at player. Um, let's try threatening again. I threaten the leader, the leader charges, and is exposed to an easy attack, and the, the other one charges. Ranged attack, here we go. Ranged attack. Oh boy, we got a lot of... Okay. Player attacks Feral Dog Leader and hits. Player pounded Feral Dog Leader's lower chest with a thrown stone. Feral Dog Leader is coughing up blood. Feral Dog Leader is stunned and unable to move for a moment. Player recently changed attack modes. Feral Dog attacks player and hits. Great. Feral Dog grazed player's upper chest with a bite. Now what? <laughs> Um, now we're down to having a punch as a weapon. We can't attack at the moment, though. Let's try dodging. Player is bleeding. Okay, what all happened? 
Player dodges Feradog's move. Player is dodging out of the way, making them hard to hit for a moment. Feradog leader attacks player and hits. Feradog leader scratch player's upper chest with a bite. Player is bleeding. Maybe we just need to run. Uh, <laughs> let's try threatening again. Player dog, play, player dog, player threatens feral dog leader. Feral dog leader advances. Feral dog tries to attack player but misses. Feral dog is exposed to easy attack for a moment. Player is bleeding. Charge. Um, did that not work? I'm sort of losing the thread here. Um, okay, I guess we did. We charged. We were exposed. Feral dog dodged our move. Feral dog is dodging, making them a hard hit for a moment. We are bleeding. You know what we're gonna do? Desperate retreat. Let's. <laughs> okay. What happened? Let's see. Player desperately tries to retreat from feral dog leader, but can't get away. Not good. Not good. In pain. Parry. Tackle target. Oh, man. Things are getting desperate now. There's no escape, so all we can do is, like, try to beat them to death, I guess. Tackle target. Par player tries to tackle a feral dog leader, but misses. Player fell to the ground and must regain footing to continue. Player is bleeding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get up. Get up. Roll dodge. That's what we're going to do. Roll dodge. Player rolls from Feral Dog Leader. Player is dodging, making them harder to hit. Feral Dog charges. Feral Dog is exposed to easy attack. So, get up. Player gets up. Feral Dog Leader attacks and hits. Grazing my upper right leg with a bite. The Feral Dog attacks and hits. Raising my lower chest with a bite. I continue to bleed. Melee surge. Wow, we got lots of choices here. We can doubt, we can parry, we can tackle, advance, melee surge, launch a, f launch a flurry of melee attacks at target. Excuse me. Chance to hit our target one to three times and stun them for one turn. We lose a turn. We must be in melee range. A regular attack or wait. We're going to do a melee surge. We're, we're getting desperate now. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll try to summarize this. All right. We launched a flurry of attacks and we hit. We needed a moment to recover before acting again. The leader also needed a moment to recover. He, so he was exposed for a moment. And while he was expo exposed, we battered his leg with a punch. The feral dog leader is in severe pain and having trouble concentrating. We then bruised his left arm with a punch and smacked his left leg with a punch. The leader is unconscious. Okay, good. I mean, I'm a dog lover, so this is sort of uh, difficult to, uh, for me to process here. The leader falls to the ground and must regain footing to continue. He's passed out from unbearable pain. Okay. 
Frail dog attacks and hits. He scratched my upper left arm with a bite. Player is bleeding. Okay, so the leader is unconscious. And we are further injured from the other feral dog. Our only option is to wait, I guess because when we did the crazed attack, or whatever it was called, the flurry of attacks, we lose a turn, so... Maybe that's what this is, I'm not sure. But that's all we can do, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's see. Player's pleading. Feral dog leader. Zzz. Player waits. Feral dog leader runs from player. Okay. Feral dog leader is exposed to easy attack for a moment. We continue to bleed. Um, let's use a regular melee attack. Maybe we can hit the other dog who's not running away. Feral dog leader retreats. I guess... Did they both retreat? Apparently. Um... Okay, we're in pain. Let's take a look at our... Oh my gosh. <laughs> dog corpse on the ground. Poor dog. What all do we have here? Minor cut, minor bruising, minor bleeding, moderate pain. Minor cut, minor pain, minor cut, minor pain. Minor cut, minor bruising, minor pain. All right, at least we didn't die immediately. All right, I think let's try rest and heal. Um, so we'll rest until wounds heal. Resting will stop if conditions change or creature appears. Okay, let's just give it a try. Time passes. Uh, player is resting, player stop resting, creature nearby, and turn, player is bleeding. Alright, so we stop resting because there's a creature nearby, but where is it? Spy. Nothing. Okay, let's try rest and heal again. Rest and heal. Something's moving around. Players stop resting creature nearby. Let's tr let's try again. Rest and heal. Um, stranger. Carrying a metal saucepan. Can we just reason with them? Offer your surrender? We're not going to do that. He'd probably whack us over the head. Uh, retreat. Fall back. Run. Take cover. Demand his surrender. Well, we all we have are a flail of punches while wearing a hospital gown. He has a metal saucepan, so... He is feeble and frail, however, whilst we are only barefoot and cold and, ha and hypothermia. Offer ceasefire. Which distracts us for one turn. Let's go ahead and offer to talk. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's offer to talk. I guess it worked, because he's over here. Alright, that worked. Cool. Uh, continuing our efforts to rest and heal. Stop resting, creature nearby. Let's try again. 
This is hard. This is hard to do. <laughs> Did it work? Ah, we have severe hypothermia. I guess don't try to rest when you have, when you have hypothermia. Up ahead, it looks like there's some sort of abandoned car. It's covered in filth, and what what glass remains is almost opaque with grime. So it's been here a while. Hard to tell if anything's inside from here. The door on this side is open, though, and it looks like a tattered sleeping bag spills through the opening. Hot dog. Alright, we'll try throwing something at the car. I guess that's to see if um, there's somebody in it. Let's give that a try. You pick up something you can toss and lob it at the metal husk, ducking out of sight. There's a hollow bang and rattle as it hits the roof and rolls off. Things seem to get quieter for a few moments after. But soon the ambient critter noise level resumes. No sign of movement. Great. We will take the sleeping bag. It's filthy and you shudder to think of all the things that might have lived in here over the years, but it's warm. Uh, but it, it is warmth. It's warm and not freezing to death beats hygiene any day. That's debatable, but we'll, we'll go with it. Note, sleeping bags must be on the ground or in your camp when ending a turn to have any effect. Okay. Shop Mart Trek Polyester and Flannel Sleeping Bag. Shop Smart. Shop S Smart. Okay. Oh, cool, okay. Putting sleeping bag in our camp. Player is in a campsite with an average sleeping bag, okay. Um, can we put the dog corpse in a campsite? Yes. Now, how do we rest? So I haven't tried destroying or using things yet, so that's something to do. Um, confirm. Okay, I guess I have to confirm. Okay. I love the music, I really do. You have discovered an abandoned car showing extreme distress from age. Currently select a response. Discovered a car. I guess we have to do this. Leave the car. Okay. Um, now what? You leave the husk of a car behind. Confirm. Okay. I see. So we've got it. We set up a camp here. So let's go ahead and... So now I think if we rest and heal, I assume we'll sleep in the sleeping bag. Player is resting. Stop resting, creature nearby. Player has moderate hypothermia, okay. All right, I think we warmed up. And the stranger, or a stranger, has appeared with his metal saucepan, assuming it's the same guy. Don't know the gender. Let's offer to talk. Mashugana. <laughs> what? What? Was that even English? Mashugana, Mashugana, Mashugana. I ain't talking to you. Go. Away. Hmm. Ask him to wait. I mean, we can help each other, right? Wait, I just want... You begin. Son, are you deaf? I ain't looking for a friend. Now get... Okay. All right. All right. Have it your way. That's a big map. Wow. All right. We are going to try to rest again. Oh, man. It's raining. 
It is now evening. Alright, we only have moderate hypothermia. Only. Let's, we're just gonna keep on trying here. Rest and heal. Creature nearby. Rest and heal. Okay. Player is resting. Stop resting, creature nearby. Another feral dog. <laughs> At least he's alone. Um, hmm. Let's take cover. Maybe he'll just go away. Feral dog charges the player. Threaten. Fair, player threatens feral dog. Feral dog charges the player. Fall back under cover. Player falls back under cover. Player is shivering. Um... Sick. So these have changed. I think. Players shivering. Let's see. Current conditions barefoot. We're in crude air filter using sleep. Are we still in the sleeping bag? Let's go back to the encounter. Um, I don't know, we're going to try to retreat because I'm not sure we're in any condition to fight. Let's just give this a try. Player tries to retreat but can't get away. charge <laughs> player charges players expose easy attack for a moment so we'll dodge player is dodging um, we're going to charge again Um, let's try this melee surge again. Rain down a hail of punches. Oh, gosh. Okay. Feral dog scratched my lower right arm with a bite. Player tries to launch a flurry of attacks, but misses. Player needs a moment to recover before acting again. Player is bleeding. Player is tired. Wait. Player is in minor pain and some activities are affected. Oh gosh. <laughs> Let's try the melee surge again. Um, so the feral dog needs a moment to recover. Dog is exposed. Player whips dog's lower right arm with a punch. Player bruises dog's lower chest with a punch. Player whips dog's lower left leg with a punch. Player is bleeding. Player has to wait. Um, let's try a regular melee attack. Uh, dog attacks player and hits. Scratching my upper left arm with a bite. I attack dog and hit. Uh, barely affecting the dog's arm with a punch. I'll attack again. Um, he attacks me with a chest bite. 
I attack him, bruising his upper right arm. I'm bleeding. Oh, boy. Let's try the melee surge again. Uh, let's see. He attacks me with... Hits my left arm with a bite. I miss. Dang. And now I have to wait. I need a moment to recover. He attacks and hits my head, scratching my head with a bite. Oh gosh. <laughs> Can we run? Let's just run. Um, player runs. Player's exposed. Dog tries to attack but misses. Dog falls to the ground. Must regain footing. He's exposed. We're bleeding. We're gonna keep on a running. Desperate retreat. Dog gets up. We try to retreat, but can't get away. Desperate retreat. Player is weary. We still can't get away. Tackle target. Player tackles dog. We both must regain our footing. He needs a moment to recover. Get up, get up. Player gets up. Player attacks. Uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Let's see. Player gets up. Player is bleeding. Dog gets up. Dog attack. Oh no, I attack him and hit with a lower stomach punch. keep at it. Again. Dog attacks and hits with a lower chest bite. I hit him with a lower uh, left arm punch. I'm bleeding in severe pain and having trouble concentrating. But we gotta take this dog out. Attack again. A bunch of stuff happened. Player is in severe pain. Dog attacks player. He falls to the ground. Must regain footing. Uh, I fall to the ground. We're both exposed. I attack him and hit his head with a punch. Dog is unconscious. Dog is blacking out. Yes. <laughs> I guess our only chance is, uh, option is to wait. Can we... Is he dead? No, he's unconscious. But can we just... Can we kill him? Kill an unconscious dog. Look at, look at what this has reduced me to. Check body for loot. Already looted. Player is bleeding. Um, stand up. Oh, he's getting up? Darn it. We're both on our feet again. Can we get him to black out again? <clears throat> he attacks. Getting my upper chest with a bite. I attack. Hitting his head. I don't see that we have a choice but to keep fighting till the end here. Um... He hits my chest. I hit his upper right arm. One of us is going down. What happened? Um, we both hit again. Attack. He scratches me. I whip him. He hits me. I'm coughing up blood. I hit him. To the death. I fall to the ground. 
I pass out from unbearable pain, then I guess I wake up and attack, bruising him. Very weary and in unbearable pain. Um, player is bleeding. I don't have any options. Confirm. Player falls asleep. End turn. <laughs> player dies. Final moments. Let's see, what were my final moments? Uh, I fall asleep. Lost. I've lost a lot of blood, affecting our abilities somewhat. Players bleeding, and turn, Feral gets up. Death. Alright, I survived 13.7 hours. Well, that's something. How quickly things fall apart. And they do fall apart. I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. I actually uh, really enjoyed this <laughs> playthrough. I'm curious to see... I'm definitely going to be trying this again. Um, I'm curious to see if the... Oh, um, if the game always starts the same way. You know, if the map changes. I honestly don't know. But... Uh, I would like to do this again, and I would like you to join me if you so desire. So I would greatly appreciate it if you decide to. Thanks for watching. Give me a comment. I'd be interested to know what you thought. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.